Moms and dads, we have been working for almost a year on your Christmas present, but you're not getting it before Christmas. We are wrapping it up for you and we'll deliver this to you in the spring, I promise. Let me tell you what's in your present. Now, if you're a teacher in another program or a director or an owner of a school, we wanted to share this with you too so you can see what we have been up to for our families. This is our digital portfolio a portfolio of all kinds of experiences our children have throughout the throughout the school year, whether it's in science or sensory or literacy, all kinds of learning and developmental areas that we try to focus and hit on. Now, let me preface this by saying that we do this ideally for our full-time kiddos, but for kids in our program, they need to enroll with us at the beginning of the school year. So we go from August, September, October. They need to enroll prior to November 1st and full-time, but we kind of pair it back if the child is with us at least three three days a week, so three, four, or five day enrolled kiddos. Prior to November 1st, we put this portfolio in place for them. Even for kiddos that are not full-time with us or start later in the year, we still do assessments. We still do these same projects, but we just don't have time to compile an entire portfolio. So those things just get sent home on the daily, so we don't leave a single kiddo out. We used to do it in a physical binder, and now we have taken it completely digital, and we're gonna unwrap that for you to show you how. So this is your preview of your Christmas present being delivered in the spring. Let me show you what it's all about. All right, today we're diving into portfolios. We're gonna take them from old school to new school. So Don and Kim are with us today and gonna walk you through what they did for the last decade, over 12 years we've been building this portfolios and now we're taking them online. So here we go, diving in. All right, so here is an example of a completed portfolio. This is the cover page that you're looking at start out the portfolio with a personal, social, and emotional development section. So this is a page that we like to play off for conferences. This is your language and literacy. You can have a lot of your writ, a lot of your oral, of your reading. So you'll see the math, fine motor, scissor skills, shapes, number, puzzles. These are broken up a little bit more in the online version. We do a life cycle every year of the butterfly, all the earth sciences. Social studies, same thing, is all explained. A lot of this is going to be how they relate themselves to uh, others, family, society, community helpers. And this looks different in the online. You'll see it. This is pretty similar. Um, but there's a ton of pages, not only for photos, but for all the arts. And then in the very end, you're going to have your large and fine motor, running, skipping, climbing, oh. anything out on the playground, using scissors, cutting samples. Here's Kim and Dawn talking about, for our staff and for you, about what these digital portfolios are all about. So here is the online portfolio that we'll be, we will be going to. This one is a sample one that's up, and then we will show you the blank. This is gonna be your cover page. These are in all of the portfolios, explains why it is we do what we do. One that describes exactly what's going in the section. And here's your, which will be here. These are going to allow for parents to see in those first conferences kind of what the rest of the pages are gonna look. These are their self-portraits. Here's the family. Here is family portraits and self-portraits, which were within that area of the one that was an example. So it shows you how we did these as a group, and then I took the photo, uploaded it, and it went into the slide. Same with these. So then you have language and literacy, writing to reading to listening center. It can be all the way down to puppets, finger puppets, finger plays. It's a lot in this language and literacy. You can even have some of our songs and different things that you do at circle time. Social studies, you'll see here's all the different things for social studies. Here's a main science page, all the life cycles, which we do the butterflies, ladybugs, this year we did praying mantises, mm -hmm. weather and seasons, and then here's your engineering. So it's going to be all your building and blocks, and but it can expand all the way into manipulatives, housekeeping. So you've got the math here. So you have your shapes, numbers, patterns, and sizes. Here's your art, which is going to be one of your biggest areas. You get down to physical development, which is large and fine motors. So all their outdoor play, anything in the classroom, obstacle course, dancing, balance beam, throwing balls, kicking balls. Even the field trip to Stute's pumpkin patch, them jumping on the big bouncy thing or going down the slides there. Our staff work hard day in and day out looking to capture moments of literacy, moments of science, moments to illustrate complex thinking and problem solving to share with you. Then they take those images, they send them all the way across the Pacific Ocean to the Philippines to Miss Jeanette, who then creates our digital portfolios for us. Check this out. 
When you're ready to take a picture, open your Voxer, take the picture right from Voxer. Open the individual you're gonna be sending it to, which is your portfolio designer, and then take the picture right from Voxer. In this case, we're gonna take a picture of special friends. <laughs> And then we can send that picture and then send a message to them. Hey, make sure you put this picture in Don and Kim's portfolio under special friends. Your tech or portfolio designer on the other end is gonna receive this right in their Voxer which they, can, which they can open up on their computer. So they can play the message. Hey, make sure you put this picture in Don and Kim's portfolio under special friends. Hello. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I work with digital portfolio. So first, I receive images from Fruta Prique. So we have here Avery and Dean. This image is about experimenting cloud, rain, and lightning. So this image should go to the science category. So I'm gonna download and I'm gonna copy the description. I would go to digital portfolios folder and here is Avery's portfolio. And scroll down and go to the science category so we already have a sign image for Avery but I'll just create another one remove this duplicate and insert the uh, the other image and I'm gonna put the description and I'm gonna put also their names so Avery and Dean So I'm gonna put October as the date. After that, I would go to the portfolio tracker and look for Avery's name to add a star. So I'm gonna put a small star, extra photo for Avery science category. Since on the picture we have Dane, I would also put this image to Dane's portfolio. And I could just copy and paste it. also Dane's tracking. Jeanette also has a co-worker in the Philippines. Her name is Chicky and she helps a lot of the organization and tracking so that not only can Jeanette make sure she's tracking over 120 portfolios between our two centers, but so our staff can also take a look and see where they're at in the process. Chicky's been a really instrumental part of this process of keeping track of hundreds, hundreds of photos and images of our kids, their artwork on our portfolio. So here's a little bit of that. So as you can see, we all have our different classrooms in our Fruta location and Grand Junction like location as well. Within each of the sheet, example this one, we have toddler class for our Fruta location. We could see a list of children that we're doing portfolios for and the different categories that they are trying to capture for sharing developmental images of the children as well as assessments. Here, we have here the assessment that will get tracked a couple of times a year and at the end of it. And this allows our portfolio designer to be able to communicate the progress with our teachers back in Colorado. So this is how it works. You can see here it is highlighted in yellow. It's because this category, which is the science, is already full. So in this case, we have this child. She already completed this category. That's why it is highlighted in yellow. We have this automated. Let's say, for example, again, that this is already filled up. And as you notice, it immediately turned into yellow so this would be easier for the portfolio designer and as well as our teacher to track the progress of the child when it comes to clap we have literally invested thousands of hours into this process in an effort to save time and money taking it from old school to digital format we've outsourced to the Philippines Jeanette has a degree in secondary education Chicky a degree in business and finance 
and have the ability to work with them to save time it so our staff can focus on activities within the classroom, simply capturing an image, sending that across the Pacific Ocean so that Jeanette and Chicky can coordinate and choreograph, engineer and build these digital portfolios for us. So it's been quite a process, a great learning process, but it's amazing how all of these things are coming together. So we're so excited to share this with you in the spring of 2021. We're just so excited to share all this with you. If you've liked this video, please hit the like, subscribe, smash the bell. We'd love for more and more facilities like ours to see this information and think outside the box, outside the states maybe even, can show you how to do that. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, follow along. We're so happy to bring this to our families. Thanks.